What is good, Bit Rushers? It's Kyler, and today we're going to be going over Ring of Darwinia Network. So at first, I uh, took several times to try to get this coin and made a bunch of mistakes or had failed transactions, didn't work, didn't go through, uh, just a whole bunch of problems. And I was going to show you guys all the mistakes I made and all the things not to do. And then I realized the whole reason you're watching this video is to learn how to do it correctly. You don't want to watch me mess up. So instead, I'm going to just go through and do it correctly and show you exactly what you need to make sure you do this right the first time. All right, guys, let's get into the content. A couple of quick announcements, guys. Follow me on Twitter, at BitRush9000, link in the description. You can join my Telegram group and chat with me, BitRush9000, link in the description. And we're doing an Ethereum giveaway when I hit 500 subs. If you want to be part of that giveaway, go ahead and just subscribe to the channel and leave your Ethereum address in the comments. Thanks, guys. So if you haven't heard of Darwinia Network or uh, Ring, this is a new up-and-coming coin uh, all over... Twitter and social media, everyone's saying this is going to be the next coin to explode and go 1000x. However, as you know on this channel, I don't give financial advice. So if you want this coin, I will leave the link in the description, darwinia.network, and you can do some research and your own due diligence and decide if you want to get it. So if you do want to get this coin, um, I'm going to show you how. But real quick, let's just read what it says. As an open cross chain bridge protocol based on substrate, Darwinia focuses on the construction of future Internet of Tokens, including decentralized token swap, exchange, and market. All right, so um, I'll leave that for you guys, like I said, and you can do your own research and figure out everything you need to know about this coin. Today we are going to be using MetaMask Wallet and Uniswap to get this coin. There's a few other ways, but that's how we're going to do it. If you're not familiar with MetaMask Wallet, um, you're going to need to download that and get some Ethereum in it. I have another video where I show you how to do that, how to set up and use uh, MetaMask. So if you need, I'll link that in the description and it should be popping up above. Um, I'm going to go ahead and send myself some Ethereum right now. All right, you can see I now have a little over $10 worth of Ethereum in my MetaMask Wallet. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is just go over to CoinGecko and take a look at the price. Um, so they have the website and a few other things here, their Twitter and Telegram if you're interested in any of that. So currently um, 0 0.00558006 in USD. Um, it's not showing the market cap, and it looks like the trading volume is 115,000. So not much price action in the past 24 hours. Um, seen a little bit of movement there, but not much. It's actually looking like it's trending down right now, which for us, if we're buying, is a good thing. Um, and. Uh, the last thing we want to just look at here is the ratio to Bitcoin. So 1 BTC is going to be quite a bit of ring. Let's see. That's going to be um, 1 million 100, or I'm sorry, 1 million 722,261 ring to 1 Bitcoin. So quite a bit there, guys. Um, a lot of people are saying this one's going to be a good one to get. And at that price, you know, as long as it goes up even a little bit um, should be profitable coin um, get quite a bit of it and kind of sell it off as it goes is what's um, gonna be my strategy if it actually pumps we'll see planning on holding this one um, probably at least a couple of years um, you know we'll see what happens you never know he, he could pump real quick and I might just gain some profits and um, sell it off or you know it could be real slow to go and this one could be one that we hold on to for a while. All right, so let's get into how we're going to get it. So here, here's a couple of the ways you guys can get it here. eToro, Bitflyer, Who.com, Uniswap, MXC, and Uniswap version 2. So we're going to actually use uh, Uniswap here. And I'm not sure why they have both versions listed, just because you can get it on both versions. And they were recently listed on MXC, so um, that's also an option for you guys. I'm just going to go to Uniswap 
dot info and what we're going to do is right here um, you see uniswap.info slash home and you're on here it says this displays analytics for uniswap version 2 only to see uniswap version 1 analytics click here we're going to click that we want version 1 so it's going to bring us to this new link that is v1.uniswap.info.home and I'll link this in the description for you guys but I just wanted to show you that process on how you get here um, the next thing you're going to do is come to the side and search for the coin so it's going to be ring r-i-n-g hit enter brings up Darwinian Network native token ring and you even see the price so I guess I didn't need to go to uh, CoinGecko there I forgot to have that on here um, but at this point, you're going to need to sync up your MetaMask wallet. To do that, you're going to click Buy, and it's going to bring up the uh, actual exchange. Right here is where your MetaMask wallet will be. Um, if you're not synced, you're just going to click this button. And it, instead of saying uh, connect to a different wallet, it will show this screen. And from here, you're going to just click on MetaMask. And if you're logged in on MetaMask up here in the top right, it'll automatically sync it. So now you'll be synced as well. So again, um, you would just click top right, click MetaMask, and it will sync it up automatically. You'll come back to the screen, and you should see your Ethereum address um, up here. And that's how you know it's synced. At this point, we want to swap. And we're going to uh, enter the amount that we can. So the maximum amount of um, ETH we have is 0 0.0468802. And you know what, guys? I just realized um, I just realized this put us back to version one. So this is tricky. This is why it gave me a bunch of problems last time. And as I was talking, I didn't even realize this. This white version, uh, is, I'm sorry, the white version is version two. We want the original version one. Um, so we're gonna get off of this and uh, let's see. Okay, click on view exchange. So let's do that again. Let me come back over. So once we have our wallet synced and we want to now buy, we're going to click view exchange. This will open up the exchange and it's going to be in version two. You can tell because it's white colored. We actually want version one. So we're going to just click this Uniswap slider over to version two. And now it's, it's dark. It's on the dark theme with the purple. So this is how you know um, you're on the right one is that it's the dark colored with the purple. We're now able to select our token, and mine is up here because I used it in the past, but you're just going to type in R-I-N-G. It will show up ring, Darwinian Network Native Token. Just click that, and it's given a really good price here, even better than we were seeing on CoinGecko, so that's awesome. And you see your Ethereum, it tells you your balance right here. So if you want to enter um, the maximum amount, you can click that. Actually, it doesn't let you do that. Sorry, so 0 0.0468, and this is going to be all of my Ethereum, except it's not going to give me um, some to do the transaction. So you always need a little bit of gas when you're doing Ethereum, um, so, so it's always good to back that out. Usually, um, I like to do 0, 0, 001 worth, so I'm just going to change this four. so you go 0, 0, and then uh, 1 here, so... It's, six minus one is five so I just like to do that the next thing that you need to do and this is where it gave me a lot of problems was the slippage I had point or zero point five slippage which is what is suggested however doing it this way I was not able to get my transaction to go through several times of doing this um, and I wasn't making a large purchase last time either I was doing about ten dollars or twenty dollars worth of ethereum and this time i'm doing ten dollars worth so i'm not sure if i'll have the same problems um, but it wasn't a lot guys and so what i had to do was set it to one percent slippage to get it to go through okay um, so if you have problems at the 0 0.5 here i'm um, just trying to switch it go to advanced details and make sure you set your slippage on one once you have that filled out and you're happy with everything here, you have how much ring you're going to get, we're going to click swap. 
this will bring up MetaMask here to confirm the transaction. Oh, it says I have insufficient funds. See, so the gas fee is going to be 0 0.001483. Okay, so make sure you reject this. If you get an alert for insufficient funds, you have to reject it. So we need to add in that extra amount here. So I'm just going to minus 2 off of this, even though it was 1, just to cover it to make sure. So 8 minus 2 is going to be 6. So 0, 4, 5, 6. That should be um, leave enough Ethereum for the gas fee. And again, I'm going to leave it at 1% slippage. Click swap. Saying I still have insufficient funds. Okay, why? Okay, so four seven. Okay, so it's rejected again. Sorry guys, I planned on doing this right the first time. Uh, we're we'll at a little bit more. I'm just gonna take off right here, so it's just gonna be four four. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that so I know that there's enough. So uh, 0 0.044, set the slippage to one percent, swap. There we go. Okay, gas fee covers it now. Our total is going to be 1088. We're going to confirm this transaction. And transaction is pending. Let's give it a minute here. One cool thing about MetaBask is uh, once the transaction is pending here in your wallet, you can click on it and it brings down this little drop down menu um, from here you can actually click the arrow and this arrow will bring you to etherscan view on etherscan and you can um, see the transaction we see the estimated confirmation is in five minutes so we have about five minutes to wait guys i'll go ahead and check back in with you in five minutes okay so while we wait for that transaction i'm just going to show you real quick how to add ring to your uh, metamask wallet so when you come up to metamask here um, it's only going to show your ethereum so this is my ethereum wallet all my ethereum transactions you can actually have any erc20 token um, which are ethereum based tokens and you can come down you can see i have a couple other ones yes uh, esh and xio um, to add a token, you're just going to go to right here, add a token. So to get there again, um, when you're here, it's a three bar hamburger menu. Click that, brings up your tokens. If you don't have any other ones, you're probably just going to see this Ethereum one. Go to add a token and we're going to do custom token. From here, you need that tokens contract address. And you're probably thinking, where am I going to get that? So it's actually really easy. It's up here in the Uniswap bar when you're on the Darwinian network. Uh, native token for ring in the URL address it is their address so you just copy that and come here to MetaMask again let's open this back up click that three bar hamburger menu add token oh that's not what I wanted add token uh, custom token and the token address again we're going to just paste that in um, do your symbol I'm going to do ring and the decimal should already fill out it's just going to be 18 and next we now have ring and you can see I actually already have a balance so um, it's going to show that for yours it'll most likely say zero if you don't have any tokens yet so then add token and now when you come over here to um, the sidebar you'll be able to switch between your token you should see ring token or your ethereum
Okay, guys, so really interesting if you just saw that. Um, it took way over 10 minutes to try to do my first transaction. I clicked on the token and I did speed up and I added some more gas um, to the fastest one. It was still going uh, really slow and taking a while and not working. I then um, did it again. I went to the custom option and I added the highest or not the highest but I cranked it up a bunch down to like a few seconds and did it so I had to pay a whole lot more in my transaction fee worth of ethereum gas however um, doing that it then sent the transaction instantly so I don't know if it's something with Darwinian network if it's Uniswap version 1 if it's MetaMask or what's going on but I've never had this problem before with anything but this coin so I'm assuming it's ring and Darwinia um, however if you do pay a little bit more you set your slippage to 1% you speed up your transaction you should be able to get it done um, you just saw it here even though I tried to plan it and not have any uh, mistakes I still had quite a few um, and plenty more before that before making the video on my first try so um, you know good luck to you guys if you're trying to get this coin it is a little bit tricky hopefully this video helped if it did smash that thumbs up please subscribe for future content click the bell for notifications and share with your friends if you enjoyed this and you think they may as well all right guys let's get that coin happy mining